Hi guys, our topic for today is about setting up your MetaMask wallet and adding your Polygon network or Matic network in your MetaMask wallet. Today we will set it up from scratch and if you've already set up your MetaMask wallet then you can freely skip and go to the next chapter so you can save your time. But for now, let's go through the setup. So go to the MetaMask.io and then click download for sure there will be questions where users want to know how they can do the same through mobile phones so my suggestion is just to use Yandex browser or the Kiwi browser and also we have another video for the mobile phones created by Prof T-Rex and this is something that you can follow as well so let's go ahead with the process so let's install the MetaMask and then this will be an extension for this profile for this um, account so in this case we have the uh, expanded metamask here in the browser so get started and then you just need to create your wallet and then click no thanks and then you can nominate your password so just for information guys this is just a temporary account so I will not use it for good so I will not blur any part of the video so that you can follow so click next and then you will see the secret uh, backup phrase make sure that you will not share this to anyone and the suggestion is you put it in a paper through a pen and never save it to any digital copies or don't save it in your computer in your in your email accounts or even in your mobile phones so let's look at it um, for now let's copy it in notepad but of course uh, we will not do that in our um, account and then uh, click next assuming that this is already written in your paper then you can just copy all of this so just select the the words based on chronological order okay if you're able to choose the proper order then the confirm button will be enabled and then you just need to click that and then the next page uh, click all done and that's it you already have your uh, metamask wallet and then our next step is to um, add the polygon network and you'll be able to do that by clicking this and then going to the settings but for now uh, if you want to add additional um, accounts you can click create account so it will give you a different address within your metamask wallet or the other option is if you have a hardware wallet which is the Trezor or Ledger. You can just click this and follow the, the instructions or steps there on how to set it up. So it should be easy as well and something that you can do. Um, okay, so let's go ahead with the settings and then let's go to the network. And then um, add network and then you just have to fill it out with a proper uh, configuration details and you can get that through their uh, documentations developer documentations and you can see all of the details here in other cases um, we are seeing other um, details like this wherein they are using uh, this information but as you can see this is optional but just to prove that uh, both options will be working so you can pick this link and then you can also click the other one so this option one is the same with the matic uh, documentation and it will only bring you to the same um, website and it should it should be working so you, you can just choose any of these two options but in in this case let's use this details because it's also the same with this one um, if you want to get the details here, you can just edit the page and then you can get all of the, the de You can copy paste the details go to the 
description of this video i will definitely put uh, all of this detail so that you can follow it as well but for now let's use this one so this is the network name and you can also use matic main mainnet i think this is just for reference how you will uh, name it so it should be working this is the um, most important uh, detail uh, the URL because it is where it's going to connect so select it as uh, copy it as well and then 137 and then let's have the Matic and let's choose this Black Explorer URL and then click save so once you've saved it um, this will be available to your network so you can just click it and it should be fine so you will see here the the matic well actually we have a catch here because uh, we've found out that probably this is a default uh, matic token here but if you're gonna go to the coin gecko they probably updated their um, address so you can just copy here the right token contract address by going to CoinGecko, searching for Matic, and then you can uh, copy this. So even if you go to the Coin Market Cup, um, I've already checked it in my previous video, and it should be the same. So let's just add it here so that we are sure that we have the right token address. So you can just go back here to see the the main page for your wallet but there are also questions how to delete it so you can just click this uh, three, three dots and then you can hide the matic and it will be deleted also if we're gonna look at the Explorer just for your info information all of the transactions are happening here and you can always go here and then if you have any transactions you will see your wallet address here so if they say that they need your ERC20 wallet address so this one this wallet is something that you can share right so this is um, your address and this is this can be accessed by this network polygon mainnet alright so now that we have the metamask wallet um, the, the next question is how are we going to uh, get this uh, Matic tokens? You can get that as easy as you're going to the Binance account. So if you want to buy crypto, for example, through credit card, you just need to select the Matic uh, token. So you can just buy it here. So you, you just need to do the processing here. And then once you process that, you can go to your wallet and then find your Matic um, token and you can withdraw. Uh, once you have decided to withdraw your balance, in my case, I set it up that I need to whitelist all of the addresses. So let's say add to whitelist and then you can add the address and then you can put your Again, reference on how you want to name it. For example, uh, Polygon Wallet or Matic Wallet. It's up to you. And then just select the token. And then put here the address. So this is your address since uh, you've you can already connect it with this network. So just add it here. And then you can see here that in uh, Binance, you can already select the Matic network and then uh, you can put here the wallet address, MetaMask, select OK and then uh, whitelist it. So in this case, I, I just have an additional uh, security layer for this when, when adding uh, destination. Uh, destination wallet address but I, I will not uh, set it up now but at least you know that through Binance you can already transfer something directly to the to your polygon wallet in, in MetaMask right another option will be uh, going to the Uniswap 
just launch the app and then when you have uh, MetaMask so you can already uh, pin it here just select the puzzle piece and pin it here and then you can already connect your wallet let's say this is our account and then connect yeah you, you see that it's a wrong network because we are in a polygon but the thing is in the uniswap you can select the ethereum as you know um, polygon network is th this is like a side chain around the uh, ethereum and then you can convert something to matic so you can use usdt or eth whatever is available in your metamask wallet you can convert it to matic and once you've converted to matic uh, you can go to the polygon you can go to your wallet and you have the option to connect your metamask wallet and then sign and then you have options here so usually if you want to move something from ethereum network to the polygon network you will be using the polygon bridge and it, it, it works it works both ways so you can transfer something from the polygon network going to the uh, ethereum network but let's say let's go to the polygon wallet and then here you will see uh, this is already your uh, polygon wallet so you can just uh, switch network so I, I think all of the informations that are here are, are like buttons which are corresponding with all of the buttons here so this receive uh, works only uh, with polygon network to polygon network and even this send while this one is uh, you're going to the polygon bridge and you'll be able to transfer certain coins coming from your ethereum network to the polygon network as long as you're transferring erc20 tokens uh, this will be working i think the catch here as well is they're saying that since you'll be doing some transaction from ethereum to polygon or polygon to ethereum you will still be uh, spending a lot of fees that's why still my suggestion is uh, if you don't have any funds coming from your ethereum uh, network and you have uh, funds coming from your binance account so it will be better to use it so that you can transfer funds directly to your metamask wallet